So it's a lot easier to identify what you're missing through constraints that you've run into within your own ecosystem. So what we've done is we've outlined some of the main reasons within your org that may indicate it is time to actually adopt a data lake house architecture. If you have a need to store data, but you only have that data warehouse, that would be one of the reasons to investigate a data lake house. If you have new unstructured or semi-structured types of data, which need to then be uh, addressed or stored somewhere, and the data warehouse just really doesn't have that functionality. Also doesn't have the cost effective and scalability a data lake can do. So if you are already streaming your data, like it's, let's say into a data lake, but you don't have the performance and reliability you expect, that would be another time it might be beneficial to adopt a data lake house. The data lake house lets you leverage the data warehouse functionality of performance, reliability, ease of use, being able to just query with your, your ANSI SQL queries on the low cost storage of a data lake. 